Welcome to our guide to a floating offshore wind farm. An online interactive guide to the fundamentals of floating offshore wind technology. It contains a visual and technical illustration of the full life cycle of a floating offshore wind farm and brings to life the latest advances powering the development of this exciting market. Floating offshore wind technology is set to grow significantly with the global potential for 10 gigawatts of capacity to be operational by 2030. It's also a huge economic opportunity and is expected to be worth 30 billion pounds per annum by the end of the decade. Being able to operate in deeper waters, floating technology offers the chance to reach places previously out of reach to offshore wind development. The Life Cycle Overview takes you on an interactive journey through the development, manufacture, installation and operations and maintenance of a floating offshore wind farm. Each component of a floating offshore wind farm has a visual walkthrough, as well as in-depth technical detail, supported by data and real-life projects. These components include electrical infrastructure, mooring and anchoring, floating substructures and the turbine itself. There are over 50 designs for floating structures, but only a handful of these have been tested at full scale. Though they have a wide range of different characteristics and performance, these emerging technologies commonly rely on one of only four major substructure types, which are semi-submersibles, spars, barges, and tension leg platforms. Looking back to 2017, when the first multi-turbine floating offshore wind farm was installed in the UK, incredible progress has been made within the industry over a short period of time. In 2021, Kincardine became the second multi-turbine floating offshore wind farm, featuring five Vestas 9.5 megawatt turbines and 2022 marked the first floating offshore wind farm connected to an oil and gas platform at High Wind Tampen, which is also the world's largest floating wind farm in operation. It is important to consider several factors in the creation of a floating offshore wind farm. Crucially, one of the most important is cost. The floating guide provides a breakdown of wind farm costs from construction to maintenance and operations. Another key aspect in the creation of a floating offshore wind farm is the supply chain. This floating guide includes a supply chain map of those who have been used on floating wind projects to date, and also includes a more detailed list of potential suppliers in the industry. From those just beginning their journey in renewable energy, to experienced offshore wind professionals. This floating guide will be hugely beneficial to anyone looking to learn more about floating offshore wind. Come and check out the full guide for yourself.